What's up guys, thanks for checking out the Pixel Lab. Well, I woke up this morning with tons of comments on my video and kind of just walking me through some different ways to do it. And it turns out there is an easier way to do it. So I wanna thank you guys for commenting, for messing around with this technique and letting me know what you came up with. Um, it's actually pretty simple and I was just messing one thing up. Charlie Davies actually came up with the, uh, the easy solution and he figured out what I was doing wrong. So I was close, but not quite there. So the first part was right. Um, I have this uh, room and I put this texture tag on it with the text and I put a camera and I dragged it into the camera mapping slot. So that was correct. So we have this camera mapped on here and I set it up where I wanted it, right? So I kind of moved the camera around and you know positioned exactly where I wanted it in the scene. So if we add a new camera, we can see this is exactly where I want it. The problem is that I used this second camera and lined that one up where I wanted it and worked from there. Whereas if we use the uh, original projection camera and we duplicate that one, we're gonna go ahead and name this one animation. Before moving it at all, I need to make a keyframe because it needs to match up that projection camera um, exactly, and that's gonna save me all the time. So then if I want to uh, have the text on this pillar as well, I just have to duplicate that texture onto the pillar, and look at that, it's perfect, and all because we use that exact position rotation scale of that camera um, from the projection rather than putting a new camera and messing around with that. So that kind of sent me down this bunny hole uh, for a long time, and there you go, it's as easy as that. Um, so yeah, all you have to do is duplicate this and put it on there. Now we go to our animation. We already have our keyframe for the exact ending spot. Go to the beginning, we can move that over here. And just like that, we have our beautiful animation without all the hard work, right? So the only thing this doesn't fix is the problem with the repeating text on the front pillars and the back wall, but you can still do that technique that I did with going to Photoshop and say deleting half of the W on the back wall and just making it a new texture. Um, it's actually not that much work to do that. Just look at your, your ending spot and then just chop up the pieces so that uh, you have two different textures, one on the back wall and one on the front pillars. So that should work just fine. So huge thanks to Charlie Davies. I also wanted to uh, show you a couple videos that use this technique that some people posted in the comments. Another really nice use of this technique right here. And then we have one from Nickelodeon, which is very cool as well. And there you can see this technique being used in a lot of different ways. This one's a little bit more graphical and it's really awesome. So um, I just wanted to, to show you the proper way to do it and the things that I've learned. Thanks guys for sharing. I appreciate it a lot. And I hope you can use this technique in a future project. If you make anything cool, send it on over. Thanks guys for checking out the Pixel Lab. We'll talk to you next time.